These were the scenes across the country as lawyers abandoned the courtroom and moved to the streets to demand answers following the death of human rights lawyer Willie Kimani, his client Joseph Mwenda and taxi driver Joseph Mirori. Protests that are now threatening to grind court proceedings to a halt amid plans by the learned friends to withdraw their legal services the entire week. Looking at the, the recent extrajudicial killings which happened to our lawyer, Willie, and we are here to say that we stand with Willie so that we do not have any other extrajudicial killings by the police service. In solidarity with their fallen colleague, Law Society of Kenyan Human Rights Groups condemned what they described as police brutality. Wiri Kimani, Muiruri, and Mwenda are just three Kenyans. There are so many other Kenyans that have been killed by the bullet of the police. This was the mood in Kisumu City. The irate lawyers marched from Kenyatta grounds to Nyanza police headquarters to present their petition in which they want those behind the killings of the trio brought to book. We will not tolerate any extrajudicial killings in, uh, in Kisumu and disappearance. You know us as lawyers, we work with the police. But when the police start to train their hands, uh, guns on the lawyers, it will also, the police will not get anybody to defend them in court. In Nakuru, it was the same script but a different cast. The lawyers marched to the county commander's office to demand the government to move quick in expediting justice and provide lasting solutions to the question of police brutality. We want assurance that those killings will, will, will stop and nothing of that nature will happen ever again. We must give a due process of the law to take its course. The well choreographed demonstrations was also evident in Kisi County where members of the legal fraternity urged Kenyans to be vigilant and report cases of alleged police brutality. Human rights activists in the coastal city of Mombasa also lamented over what they termed as an increase in the number of extrajudicial executions which they described as pointer of the rot in the National Police Service. Foreign governments currently spending their taxes on supporting police reforms in Kenya, namely Sweden, the UK and the USA, must also suspend all financial contributions and charge, until charges are laid and successfully prosecuted in this matter and until an inquiry into the criminality and executions to the in the security services is set up. The lawyers have threatened to stay out of court for the week, raising fears that those with the court cases may just be denied justice due to lack of legal representation, giving credence to the phrase justice delayed is justice denied. For Channel 1 News Hour, I am Edward Kabasa.